ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಉದ್ಧವಗೀತ ನೈಂಟೀನ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಟು ನೈಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅಪ್ಸು ಪ್ರಲೀಯತೆ ಗಂಧ ಆಪಶ್ಚ ಸ್ವಗುಣೇರಸೇ ಲೀಯತೆ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷೀರಸ್ವ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರೂಪೆ ಪ್ರಲೀಯತೆ ರೂಪಂ ವಾಯೌ ಸ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶೆ ಲೀಯತೆ ಸೋಪಿ ಚಾಂಬರೆ ಅಂಬರಂ ಶಬ್ದ ತನ್ಮಾತ್ರೆ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣಿ ಸ್ವಯೋನಿಷು ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಳಯ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟಾಕ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಅನುಲೋಮ ascending and now he is talking about descending ascending anuloma is called emerging or srishti descending is called pratiloma or merging back into ishvara so that is presented here in this shlokas in 22nd verse itself ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಥೋಲ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನುಲೋಮ ಪ್ರತಿಲೋಮ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರತಿಲೋಮ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಅನುಲೋಮ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರತಿಲೋಮ ಮರ್ತ್ಯಂ ಅನ್ನಂ ಅನ್ನೇ ಪ್ರಲೀಯತೇನ from 22nd verse onwards the living beings martyam means all the living beings anne preliyate because we are born from annam we merge into annam then it is explained further further the food again into the seeds the seeds into the earth gandha means um, bhumau means earth then earth merges into the odor gandha gandha tanmatra that is sukshma bhumi ityartha then that bhumi that gandha bhumi tanmatra sukshma um, you can call sukshma what you say bhumi sukshma earth sukshma um, prithivi uh, we can call it as sukshma ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಸರಿ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗಂಧ ಮೆರ್ಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಸು ಇನ್ ಟು ವಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಸು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಜಲಂ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ so sthula has to merge into sukshma that each element sthula merge into its sukshma then so that sukshma merge into another sthula element that sthula merges into sukshma therefore apsu praliyate gandha sukshma prithivi merges into sthula jalam then sthula jalam apaha 23rd verse first line ಆಪಃ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಜಲಂ ಸ್ವಗುಣೇ ರಸೇ ರಸ ತನ್ಮಾತ್ರ ಜಲ ತನ್ಮಾತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ರಸೋ ರಸಂ ದ ಗುಣ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಜಲಂ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ರಸ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸ್ಥೂ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಜಲಂ ಆಪಃ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಜಲಂ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಜಲಂ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಸಿ ದ ದ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ನಾಟ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಜಲಂ ರಸೇ
then next one rasaha second line you see in the middle rasaha jyotishiliyate jyotishi means sthula agni sukshma jalam merges into sthula agni subtle water element merges into the gross fire principle gross element fire principle then that gross fire in principle jyoti rupe praliyate here rupa means subtle fire subtle agni or sukshma agni into sukshma agni it merges or subtle subtle fire gross fire merges into subtle fire that means varna also uh, fire um, sthula agni merges into that varna the color then rupam rupa means sukshma agni vayaucha 24th verse 24th verse first line you can see vayau rupam vayau saha saha sukshma sukshma agni merges into sthula vayu sthula vayu means gross air principle then that gross air principle sparsheliyate that is sparsha means here subtle air principle subtle air principle or sukshma vayu so gross air principle merges into subtle air principle that is called sparsha tanmatra tanmatra means subtle sparshe sparshe is the uh, guna of the vayu therefore gross va- vayu merges into its guna that is sparsha then sparsha saha sparsha ambare liyate that subtle vayu merges into sparsha merges into gross space ambare means gross space gross space that gross space ambaram shabda tanmatre shabda tanmatra means the shabda guna of akasha that is sukshma akasha sukshma akasha is what shabda guna so that gross space element merges into subtle space element that is tanmatra shabda tanmatre then next one we have to bring from the next page 25th verse shabdaha that shabdaha bhutadim apyeti so that shabda that from that 25th verse you have to take here the shabdaha indriyani svayonishu this uh, up to here we saw in the last class so why this type of uh, dissolution one has to know because karana karyam merges into karana karyam merges into karana ishvara as the more you go to karanam 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 that is advaita ishvara you uh, arrive at in advaitam you don't have any sort of divisions you are free from all divisions karya nama roopa prapancha is mithya so as long as you are in karyam nama roopa prapancha either akasha vayu agni apaha prithivi anything they are all nama roopas karyam mithya as long as you are holding on to the karyam nama roopa you are in mithya prapancha dvaitam so dvaitadhi bhayam bhavati na as long as you are in dvaitam bhayam fear will be there so you have to reach its karanam then its karanam its karanam mula karanam anvichana until you reach to the advaitam brahma karana ishvara is called advaitam brahma paramatma until there you will have limitations 
that is the idea problems will continue in dvaitam in advaitam there are no problems therefore may you understand this vision is by changing your vision from karya to karana mula karanam then you are free from all sorts of limitations therefore world emerge from the lord world merge into the lord that is the idea here what is the use of knowing the srishti and pralaya the purpose is this world emerges out of lord ishvara dvaita prapancha vyavaharika prapancha a dissolution merging into ishvara is that where you arrive at advaitam that's why this srishti prakriya is wonderful if you understand mer- emerging out and merging into anuloma and pratiloma arohana and avarohana therefore this order is based on the sankhya philosophy sankhya srishti prakriya so in bhagavata and bhagavad gita also we are taking sankhya srishti prakriya there is slight difference in vedanta that is the only difference in sattvik ahankara as raja sankara some of them are born that is light different that's okay because lord krishna has taken it is accepted for us so therefore first five subtle elements and gross elements 10 elements merge into the rajasa ahankara then 10 sense organs merge into the mind and mind into devatas then that uh, whole thing merges into prakriti so ahankara ahankara into mahat mahat into prakriti prakriti into kala tatvam kala into paramatma that is what we are going to see in the next three verses also so indriyani swayonishu is given indriyani swayonishun all 10 sense organs merge it dissolve into their uh, causes what the sense organ merge into the mind they merge into the mind mind into devatas now i will enter into the next verse 25th verse 298 page number <coughs> ಯೋನಿ ವೈಕಾರಿಕೇ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ಲೀಯತೆ ಮನಸಿ ಶ್ವರೇ ಶಬ್ದೋ ಭೂತಾಪ್ಯೇತಿ ಭೂತಾರ್ಮಹತಿ ಪ್ರಭು ಮನಸಿ ಈಶ್ವರೇ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಈಶ್ವರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ mind alone is ruling everything mind is the dominant controller of all sense organs therefore the mind and the sense devatas merge into ahankara the sattvika part of ahankara that is given here manaha ishwaraha means the mind the lord of sense organs niyamakaha manas is the niyamakaha controller of all sense organs mind is the rein sense organs are like horses in kathopanishad we saw so yonau vaikarike means in sattvika ahankara yonau means yoni vaikarike means the karanam yoni means karanam here vaikarike means sattvika ahankara saumya means o oh, uddhava my dear friend saumya uh, manasi ishvare manaha ishvare ishvare manasi ishvare manasi yoni vaikarike liyate so that 
the mind and the devatas merge into sattvika ahankara vaikarika means sattvika ahankara mind and devatas who are the devatas indriya adhisthana devatas they merge into ahankara you remember that prakriti mahat ahankara they are single from ahankara only all sattvik ahankara rajas ahankara tamas ahankara different different elements sense organs have come so all of them have dissolved into sattvik ahankara finally mind also has dissolved so prakriti mahat ahankara then which is mind is the cause of so the ahankara is the cause of mind and devatas therefore mind devatas merge into the uh, ahankara sattvika ahankara which is the cause of the mind and devatas therefore that ahankara merges into mahat mahat merges into prakriti that is going to come next line that shabdaha we have taken to the previous one so bhutadim apyeti here bhutadim means ahankara ahankaram apyeti so the rajas ahankara ra second line of the previous shloka we have taken that shabda shabda bhutadim ahankar ahankaram apyeti bhutadim mahati prabhu here bhutadim means ahankara ahankara why it is called bhutadi which is the cause for all you know, five elements therefore it can be called as bhutadi therefore which is the cause of all elements bhutadi ahankara the 10 elements swallowed 10 elements swallowed sense organs the mind and devatas swallowed by which ahankara therefore the mind is prabhu powerful but it is also swallowed by sattvika ahankara the powerful ahankara that's why uh, mahati bhutaadhi mahati prabhu prabhu means ahankara um, ahankara why it is called prabhu the powerful ahankara mahati liyate liyate you have to supply prabhu bhutaadi ar prabhu ahankara the lord powerful ahankara merges into mahati mahati means hiranyagarbhe hiranyagarbhe liyate so virat virat merges into hiranyagarbha you remember hiran virat hiranyagarbha ishvara so therefore virat merges into all sense organs and tense and uh, five elements ten sense organs mind devata all put together that virat sthula sukshma everything merges into hiranyagarbha mahati liyate then next verse 26th this hiranyagarbha also has to merge that is mahat also has to merge dissolve where in 26th verse it is given saliyate mahan sveshu guneshu gunavattamah te vyakte sampraliyante tat kale liyate vyaye very interesting <laughs> this is the great uh, significance of greatness of um, shrimad bhagavata in puranas only this much detail you can see uh, the creation and all in uh, upanishads and all this way of presentation we won't get okay now hiranyagarbha or mahat is um, why gunavattamah mahan mahan gunavattamah so mahat tatvam is gunavattamah is the visheshanam to hiranyagarbha mahat mahan means hiranyagarbha who is gunavattamah why 
बिकॉज हिरण्य गर्भ ओनली हैज गॉट इच्छा शक्ति ज्ञान शक्ति क्रिया शक्ति सो हिरण्य गर्भ एंड प्रकृति हिरण्य गर्भ इज गोइंग टू मेर्ज इन टू प्रकृति स्वयु गुणेशु लीयते सो हिरण्य गर्भ मेर्जस् इंटू हिस् ओन गुण ज्ञानशक्ति इच्छाशक्ति क्रियाशक्ति सत्व एंड रजस् आर् डॉमेंट इन हिरण्य गर्भ द गुणसार इन वैषम्य स्थिति इन प्रकृति गुणसार इन साम्य स्थिति दट ईज द डिफरेन्स बिटवी प्रकृति एंड महत् आर् हिरण्य गर्भ महत् एंड हिरण्य गर्भ आर् दिन निम्स सो इन हिरण्य गर्भ सत्वगुण एंड रजोगुण आर् डॉमेंट स्वेशु गुणेशु लीयते सो हिरण्य गर्भ मेर्जस् इंटू हिस् ज्ञानशक्ति क्रियाशक्ति एंड इच्छाशक्ति इंटू हिज ओन गुण सत्व एंड रजो गुण सत्व एंड रजस् आर् डॉमेंट दट ईज विषम अवस्था आल गुण आर् नाट इन ईक्विब्रियम इन हिरण्य गर्भ सो दे मेर्जस् इंटू जस्ट ऐस इन अवर् स्ली मेर्ज इंटू अवर् गुण आल इच्छाशक्ति क्रियाशक्ति ज्ञानशक्ति मेर्जस् इंटू ईश्वर लाइक दट हियर आलो महान स्वेशु गुणेशु लीयते इन हिज ओन गुण हिरण्य गर्भ रिजॉल्स इंटू हिज ओन इंटू इट्स ओन गुण लाइक अवर गुण वी मेर्ज इन स्लीप लाइक दैट सो लाइक पूज्य स्वामी जी से जो क्लियरली वैन ए म्यूजिशियन इज स्लीपिंग देर इज नो ईवन दिज ए सिंगर देर इज इन स्नोरिंग स्नोरिंग देर इज नो राग श्रुति एक्सेट्रा Every one's snoring is name, same, even though he is a musician, gaikaha, gaikaha snoring can have a mohana raga, hindol raga. No, so there is no shruti, no raga at all. All are same in snoring. Like that here, the gunas, hiranya uh, garbha merges into its gunas. Sveshu guneshu merge, merge. then that uh, av- te avyakte <coughs> te avyakte means that hiranyagarbha gunas avyakte sampraliyante hiranyagarbha is sar- uh, represents sarvagnyatva because of gnana shakti ichcha shakti kriya shakti the one whose mind is omniscient individual jeeva is not omniscient but uh, hiranyagarbha is omniscient they merge he has got uh, superior ichcha shakti gnana shakti kriya shakti we are also having ichcha shakti kriya shakti gnana shakti but inferior they are all shakti sar inferior so gunavattamaha power to know power to desire power to uh, accomplish that hiranyagarbha that gunas finally avyakte means maya in maya ar prakriti sampraliyante samyak praliyante that three shaktis of that hiranyagarbha te and means all those three shaktis of hiranyagarbha merge into the prakriti because prakriti only from prakriti only mahat ar hiranyagarbha ke देर फोर दे हेव टू रिसाव इन टू कार्य हिरण्य गर्भ मेर्जस् इन टू कारण प्रकृति देन तत्ले लीयते अव्यय दट माया डिजॉल्स इन टू द एटर्नल टाइम प्रिंसिपल हिरण्य गर्भा थ्री शक्ति मेर्जस् इन टू माया प्रकृति that prakriti merges into eternal time principle kale tat kale 
तत्काले अव्यय लीयते माया डिजॉल्व्स इनटू एटर्नल टाइम प्रिंसिपल टाइम बिकम्स इनएक्टिव सो टाइम बिकम्स इनएक्टिव फ्रॉम दैट टाइम ऑनवर्ड्स व्हेन द प्रकृति मर्जेस इनटू काला टाइम बिकम्स इनएक्टिव इज द आइडिया गिवन हियर वेरी वेरी नाइस प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ वर्स दिस आर ऑल एक्स्ट्रा इनफॉरमेशन फ्रॉम पुराणास दैट टू इलेवेंथ स्कंधा वी आर सीइंग भागवता हैज गट ट्वेल्थ स्कंधास द्वादश स्कंधास अप टू टेंथ स्कंधा टेंथ स्कंधा इज कृष्ण लीला इलेवेंथ स्कंधा एलोन इज देर इज ए वेदांता therefore kala slows down kala becomes very very slow inactive ityartha it becomes very slow because he uh, switches off the kala maya and kala and maya now let us uh, read the 27th verse kalo maya maye jeeve जीव आत्मनि मयजे आत्मा केवल आत्मस्थ विकल्पापाय लक्षण दिस इज द लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ रिसल्यूशन वंडरफुल जीवे जीवा मीन्स हियर ईश्वर सो द वर्ड्स यू शुड हैव टू टेक कॉन्टेक्स्टुअल मीनिंग लिटरल मीनिंग यू शुड नॉट टेक What is the contextual meaning here? Mai aje jiva ha. Second take first half. Jive kala ha maya mai liyate. Jive means Ishvara ha. Why Ishvara? Jiva is called Ishvara. Jiva is equal to Ishvara because jiva yati iti. Jeevaha, the um, activator of everything. That's why Ishwara is called Jeevaha. Jeevayati Sarvam iti Jeevaha. The one who is the activator of everything, therefore Ishwara can be called as Jeeva. Jeev Dhatu, Pranadharani, Jeev. So Jeeva also has called Jeeva. In the individual is also called Jeeva. But Ishwara also called Jeeva. Jeeva is Jeeva because of Ishwara. Jeeva yati. Sarva praninam. All Jeevas are really activated by whom? Ishwara. Therefore he can be called as Jeeva. Jeeva. Kalam abhi Jeeva yati. Kala, time is also surviving because of Ishwara only. Therefore, Kala ha maya maye jeeve. So, Ishwara is maya pravartaka. That is why maya maye word is used. Jeeva ha is equal to Ishwara ha. Ishwara's adjective is given. Maya maye jeeve. Maya maye Ishwara. Why is called maya maye? Maya Maya Ha, Maya Pravartaka Ha, Ishwara is the one who is the activator of Maya. Therefore, that uh, Maha Purusha Ishwara Ha resolves to Absolute Ishwara. So then Maya Pravartaka Ha, Jeeva Ha, Jeeve Kala Ha Liyate. So Kala is resolved. Then Ishwara, that who is the activator of all jivas, that Ishwara, Maya Pravartaka, merges into what? Jiva. See the second half of the 27th verse, first line. Jiva Atmani Mai Aje Atmani Jiva Liyate. This is very important. Fine. Hmm. This uh, Ishwara who is the Maya Pravartaka, 
see after prakriti ishvara ishvara who is the activator of maya that activator of maya sahitam brahma we call ishvara that ishvara also merges into what my ajay lord krishna says into me who is birthless ajay means birthless my ajay is there how you have to split uh, my plus ajay jeevaha my atmani my my ajay atmani liyate atma finally <laughs> brahmani tyartha so ishvara uh, resolved into pralaya kala that is why these are all pictureized these are all words little difficult that's why they put in bala mukund ashtakam kararavindena padaravindam mukharavinde viniveshayantam vatasya patrasya puteshayanam balam mukundam manasa smarami very nice to hear nice to sing <laughs> nice to listen the whole shloka is presented in that uh, bala mukund ashtakam you see kararavindena uh, last month only we have celebrated krishna ashtami hmm? bala krishna kararavindena his with his own hand mukharavindam viniveshayantam kararavindena kararavindena padaravindam lotus like aravinda means lotus uh, he with lotus like hand uh, he took the lotus like toe foot and the toe into his uh, lotus like mouth <laughs> mukharavindam kararavindena padaravindam padaravinde mukharavinde viniveshayantam he kept that toe into his mouth it is pictureized it means lord taking the entire universe into his mouth vatatsya patrasya pute shayanam he is reclining on the banyan tree leaf vatasya patrasya pute shayanam balam mukundam manasa smarami such a bala krishna mukunda manasa smarami mai ajay <laughs> ajay who is birthless atmani atma is birthless into me he uddhava into me who is atma who is birthless into me that jeeva the ishvara maya sahitam brahma ishvara also merges that is the sign of the karara vindena mukara vindam karara vindena padara vindam mukara vindena viniveshayantam viniveshayantam means it is all dissolution keeping that whole toe into his mouth means whole creation is dissolved beautiful pictureization hmm? uh, abstract subject into con- concrete form presentation who can understand who are all shouting at uh, uh, sanatana dharma sanatana dharma vadake nama sanatana dharma adi purinjikaradike or bhagyam irukana adu illa nariya perku enna pandrade many people cannot uh, to understand sanatana dharma also you require sampunya to be born in sanatana dharma to understand sanatana dharma because the brahman the atma is birthless formless so the whole form the creation merges into that again into brahman that is in concrete form it is presented in balamukund ashtakam now you enjoy the balamukund ashtakam first verse Hmm? first verse you can enjoy by studying this shloka otherwise it is a only chanting singing every shloka has got saguna and nirguna concrete form you enjoy understand the abstract teaching i am enjoying i hope you are also enjoying 
then what about atma atma merges into whom atma need not merge into anyone okay the second line atma kevala atmastha <laughs> that is the idea here uh, so here vatasya patrasya puteshayana means avyakta avastha avyakrata tattvam maya tattvam vatasya patra represents maya tattvam he is reclining on maya tattvam because vatasya patrasya puteshayana is reclining on the leaf that leaf is called maya tattvam avyakrata tattvam so pralaya kala krishna balamukundashtakam describing the pralaya kala krishna his own creation he swallows into his himself his own creation he swallows into himself <coughs> therefore kevala atma kevala atmastah so atma need not merge into any another atma atma merges into no merging it remains as atmastah and that is why in bhuma vidya chandogya upanishad swe mahimni pratishthitah swe mahimni pratishthitah so केवल आत्मा केवल मीन्स शुद्ध आत्मा रिमेन एज आत्मा देर इज नो फर्दर मैर्जिंग फर्दर डिसल्यूशन विकल्प अपाय लक्षण सो दिस आत्मा हेज गॉट ए लक्षण विकल्प एंड अपाय विकल्प मीन्स डिविजन उत्पत्ति अपाय मीन्स डिसल्यूशन so the atma you recognize through utpatti and pralaya apaya means here pralaya not danger so the purusha is <coughs> uh, indivisible um, purusha the atma tattvam alone appear as vikalpa the division and see the purusha word we use for individual also पुरुष इज आत्मतत्व पूरयति सर्व पुरुषः पूरणाति पुरुषः आत्मा दट हुच पर्वेड्स एव्रीथिंग इन द एव्री बॉडी इन एव्री बड़ी एव्री बॉडी इन एव्री बड़ी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सत्चिपेण दट इज वै स्वे महिमि प्रतिष्ठि सो दीस no creation no maya no time in atma there is no creation no maya no uh, time principle also in atma so from atma alone uh, avyak avyakrita maya becomes vyaktam with uh, brahman chaitanya alone all this arkam this whole thing said in taitriya तस्मादय तस्मात्मन आकाशसंभुत आकाशाद्वायु वायुरग्नि अग्निराप अद्भुपृथि पृथिव्या ओषधिया ओषधिभ्योन्नम अन्नापुरुषा सो द होल थिंग पुरुष इज अगेन गॉन् बैक् सो दिस इज भागवता एक्सप्रेशन दट इज उपनिषत् एक्सप्रेशन एनी हव विकल मीन डिविजन अपाय मीन डिसल्यूशन अगेन एट द टाइम ऑफ क्रिएशन everything comes at the time of dissolution everything go back therefore every day in sleep we are experiencing the small pralaya in the form of laya laya is a small microcosmic you know pralaya bhagwan every day showing to us morning you wake up srishti you go to sleep pralaya you cannot call it as pralaya but the time continues you your time is uh, not there in sleep but time is going on in to the other world so in our laya time dissolved for you only but not for others in laya but in pralaya the entire time principle merges back with this prati uh, loma are descending or dissolution or pralaya 
discussion is over now the conclusion what is the message by this uh, srishti and pralaya what we have to derive what we have to derive 28th verse i'll read eva man vikshamanasya katham vaikalpiko bhramah manaso hrudi tishthet vyomni varko daye tamah the moral of the srishti pralaya discussion what is the moral message if you keep um, your vision and karanam all karyams dissolve ante mithyatva nischayam falsification avyaktadini bhutani vyakta madhyani bharata avyakta nidhanani eva again vyakta to avyakta avyakta to vyakta nothing is newly created this body goes into elements again that elements again come as a body don't hold on to this karya shariram if you hold on to hooked on to this karya shariram you will be in samsara chakram vyadhi jara marana you cannot escape from the body standpoint so the maya prakriti appearing in the form of body mind complex claim that karanam that atma as your self therefore changing the vision karya nama roopa are insignificant then what karya nama roopa sharira manas buddhi chitta ahankara are insignificant who is significant atma is significant i the atma tattvam am the significant where there is no vyadhi jara marana raga dvesha sukha dukha so this is the whole thing is my vibhuti i am the atma nama roopa family children grandchildren everything is my vibhuti i am the atma in every body in every body son daughter as body also i am the atma in the body shariram son shariram daughter shariram grandson shariram granddaughter shariram ipudu paaka vendamu you have to see like this only this is the right vision this right knowledge right vision if i have growing graying going all are happening in the anatma prakriti or maya shariram nama roopa uh, not worth worrying <laughs> okay uh, not worth worrying about that what five anatmas family possession profession body ahankara and mamakara body mind complex <coughs> not worth worrying then worth thinking is what sharira tray vilakshana avastha tray vilakshana panchakosha vilakshana atma aham asmi brahma aham asmi so fir reduction frequency of worry reduced intensity of worry reduced recovery period reduced previously i was worrying so much time months together now only i worry one day okay one day worry short time short film like <laughs> okay documentary film like previously 3 hours film 3 months 3 years i used to think worry 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 now after coming to vedanta my worry has become short short to film like it may come you no know, disappointment will come insult you have to face avamana you have to face but you recover immediately that is uh, you are a love uh, respect all these you don't expect <laughs> respect you don't expect okay in mana pamana yostulya Hmm? so lord krishna said mit tulyo mitrari pakshayo so you are having same in anatma all up and downs will be there 
atma there are no up and downs at all that's why therefore don't try to change the anatma now look into the verse evam in this manner anvikshamanasya who ever understand all uddhava gita students hmm? who ever understand in this manner that person katham uh, vaikalpiko vaikalpikaha bhramaha jataha api even vaikalpika means the division bhramaha so its adjective is vaikalpikaha vaikalpikaha bhramaha conflict confusion bhramaha means conflict confusion how they can come in the mind how they can born vaikalpikaha bhrama ha jata api manasa hridi tishtheta jata api katham tishtheta even they they rise how they can remain in the heart in the mind they cannot remain in the mind um, born out of um, uh, duality these are all born out of duality how can they disturb such a gnani who understood this whole hmm, anloma pratiloma srishti prakriya uh, i hope you have understood properly okay that is the idea at the time of uh, dissolution gnani understands hmm, jataha api katham um, manasaha hridi tishtheta so once anvikshamanasya the one who has understood his atma swarupam katham tishtheta that tishtheta katham you have to supply here katham tishtheta what vaikalpikah bhramah manasaha hridi katham tishtheta this division caused confusion conflict how they can remain in that mind of that gnani you can say no it cannot remain in my mind hey krishna i am your party now <laughs> hmm? just like vyomni akash yo vyomni iva arkadaya arkadaye tamah uh, arkadaye when the sun rises arka means sun uh, sorry arkodaye arka plus udaye arkodaye when the sun rises sun rises bramaha sorry uttamaha vyomni iva vyomni means in akasha um, the night there is a darkness in night there is a darkness tamaha the moment the sun rises the morning early morning uh, sun rises dawn dust and dawn they say no? sun rises arka udaye tamah vyomni tamah tamah vyomni eva so just as the darkness uh, resolves dissolve as the sun rises similarly as the gnanam rises in the mind of a person a mumukshu seeker the very like raga dvesha tamaha like darkness darkness like raga dvesha kama krodha bhaya all this how they can exist they cannot last verse esha sankhya vidha प्रोक्त सांख्य विधि प्रोक्त संशया ग्रंथिभेदन प्रतिलोमाभ्यादृशाड़कृष्ण कंक्लूडिंग सांख्य विधि मैं प्रोक्त दिस् टाइप ऑफ क्रिएशन सांख्य विधि <coughs> the creation srishti prakriya of sankhya samshaya granthi bhedanah 
that which is samshaya grandhi means here um, bhedanaha means to go away by the study of this sankhya vidhihi means sankhya srishti prakriya which is given by me maya proktaha taught by me sankhya srishti prakriya taught by me by this samshaya grandhi bhedanaha the conflict samshaya means doubts grandhi means bhedanaha means conflict grandhi means um, you can say uh, knots knotty knots samshayas all doubts conflicts all knotty uh, knots bhedanaha go away when you understand through what pratiloma anuloma abhyam tritiya vibhakti by the way of pratiloma laya anuloma srishti anuloma pratiloma anuloma means srishti pratiloma means pralaya by this the way of srishti pralaya para para avara drisha maya the lord krishna says maya proktaha who am i i am para avara drisha i the omniscient lord karana karya witnesser drisha means by me who is the witnesser of para and avara para means karanam avara means karyam who is the witnesser of karana karya karana by by me who is the witnesser of karya karana by me the sankhya srishti has been taught by knowing which srishti prakriya srishti and pralaya prakriya all the doubts conflicts will go away from the mind of the person beautiful chapter you see people think srishti prakriya why Uh, and pralaya what for all these things and uh, that is why i sp- have spoken in uh, that shankara vyakhyana mala my talk was srishti rahasya there is no srishti at all according to advaita vedanta what is the srishti the mystery of creation i gave there the whole thing is only adhyaropa anuloma is adhyaropa pratiloma is apavada so apavada is not pratiloma dissolution is temporarily like polar bears they also go into um, you know six months hibernation that is called hibernation in polar region full and full of snow there polar bears they go into the snow without water without excretion without food nothing they just 6 uh, months or they are in pralaya avastha <laughs> no food at all available for them they go natural hibernation bhagwan has given the capacity for them they can after 6 months then sunrise comes they come out like that 6 months of polar bears in polar region like that srishti and pralaya means polar bears like 6 months um, hibernation like again srishti kala again comes back so gnani knows this leela of atma leela of atma means people cannot understand therefore lord krishna said may ajay he said here krishna leela end for for madhyam adhikari mand adhikaris krishna leela dashama skandha uttam adhikaris like you all 11th skandha uddhava geeta of bhagavata talking about what talking about pralaya talking about pralaya by understanding this we are free there krishna leela here what atma leela you can say it is atma leela like <laughs> like atma leela 
Atma Leela means what? Mama Leela. I am Atma. It is my sport. Hmm? It is a sport for a Jnani, for a Bhagavan. Whole creation is like a sport. Now Bhagavan is Atma. I am Atma. Therefore, it is my sport. As Atma, I am in every body and I am in every body. Can you say boldly or not now? You are supposed to say, after hearing this much, you are supposed to say yes. The whole Maye Vasakalam Jatam Kaivalya Upanishad Everything emerges out of me. What? Ishvara, Maya, Prakriti, Mahat, Ahankara Ten sen elements, five elements, ten sense organs, mind, devatas, entire nama rupa prapancha, maye vasakalam jatam, my sarvam pratishthitam, they are surviving because of me, sustaining because of me, my sarvam layam yati, they are all dissolved into me, mukharavinde viniveshayantam, beautiful, concretized picture of abstract teaching. This is the message of this uh, 19th chapter. Srishti Pralaya Jnanam Anuloma Pratiloma Jnanam Ascending and Descending Knowledge Release me from this Karya Karana Prapancha Nama Rupa Mithyatva Nishayam I take into uh, account of my knowledge. I am free from all limitations. With this I conclude the 19th chapter of Uddhava Gita. Hari Om. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om